I've been doing a lot of praying recently, and it's gotten me thinking about prayer and the different kinds of prayer that we can pray. Uh, there's a different times to pray different prayers. Uh, for example, if we receive a blessing from God, we can pray a prayer of thanksgiving, giving him thanks for what he's done. If we have a need in our life or, or something that we're asking God to do, we can pray a prayer of petition or supplication where we're, we're making a specific request and, and asking God to fulfill it and to do something, to act in our lives. Then there's also a prayer of praise. You know, if, if we just want to extol God or lift God up, we can worship God by and bless God by just talking about how great He is, the things that, you know, His character and His attributes, that we know who He is. You know, we can just praise God in our prayer. And then also there's time when we just want to pray on behalf of other people. That's called intercessory prayer. Where we pray specifically in place of another person. We pray for them and we lift them in prayer to God. Well, this got me thinking about the way that Jesus taught, uh, talked about prayer. And I want to read from Luke chapter 11, where Jesus is teaching his disciples about prayer. And this is what he says. Uh, now Jesus was praying in a certain place, and when he finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray, as John taught his disciples. And he said to them, when you pray, Say, Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we ourselves forgive everyone who is indebted to us and lead us not into temptation. Oh, and he said to them, which of you who has a friend will go to him at midnight and say to him, friend, lend me three loaves for a friend of mine has arrived on a journey and I have nothing to set before him. And he will answer from within, do not bother me. The door is now shut and my children are with me in bed. I cannot get up and give you anything. I tell you, though he will not get up and give him anything because he is his friend, yet because of his impudence, he will rise and give him whatever he needs. And I tell you, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives and the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks, it will be opened. After Jesus gives this exemplary prayer, often known as the Lord's Prayer, he gives them this little kind of parable, talking about a time when somebody asks a friend at midnight for some bread, because they had a friend join them, and they want to demonstrate hospitality to them. Well, he says that the person, the neighbor that, that, they, that the individual goes to to ask for the bread, is in bed with their family and tells them that they're not going to get up and give them bread. But it says that because of his impudence, now impudence is maybe not the best translation for this particular Greek word. It means more something like boldness or audacity. And so what Jesus is saying is on account of the one individual who came to their neighbor asking and saying, friend, I need some bread, the individual, the neighbor, is not going to get up in the middle of the night to give the person bread just on account of friendship, but because of the boldness and audacity of the individual asking the neighbor because they want to show hospitality. And that's why Jesus follows up and says, ask and it will be given, seek and you'll find, knock and it will be opened to you. Everyone who asks receives, the one who seeks finds, and the one who knocks, it will be opened. Pray with the boldness and audacity to ask God like a friend would ask another friend for bread at midnight. And with that sort of boldness, he says, come to God and ask God for things. You see, when we ask God in prayer for something, it's not that we're just expecting God to answer every single prayer as though we can ask God for, to do anything we want. You know, it says in 1 John, chapter 5, about prayer. In 1 John chapter 5, verse 14, it reads, And this is the confidence that we have toward him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us in whatever we ask, we know that we have the requests that we have asked of him. See, the lesson that we should learn about prayer is that we want to pray according to God's will. We want to pray for God's will to come to pass. 
And we know that if we do ask according to God's will, it says that he hears us and that we have those things that we ask of him. So we should come to God boldly in prayer, wanting to and seeking to pray according to his will, knowing that God is faithful and that on account of our boldness to come to him and ask him to provide for us, to, uh, if we ask him to take care of somebody else, or if we just ask the Lord God to show himself more to us in our lives, that he will be faithful to do what he has promised. So that's what I want to share with you guys about prayer today. Let's keep praying fervently, knowing that our Heavenly Father hears us when we ask him according to his will. Thank you so much for watching, liking, and commenting on this video. And please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our future content. And if you'd like to consider donating to help with making videos like this, please go to truthortradition.com front slash donate. God bless you.